talked about the fact that you would be going and now you're back and we're, we're, we're going to delve into all the juicy details. We went, details. we saw, and we conquered. You conquered. With the, you with certainly the did. <laughs> Where do we begin? Yes, mm. so speaking of the belt though, we noticed that the belt is being kept safely somewhere. Yeah. Secret location. No, Secret we, you location. didn't bring it with you. The helicopter had to, um, you know, <laughs> we, if, we, if, we, if we need it here, we have to send for the helicopter to, you know. Wow. Oh, to bring yeah. it. And bring it, yeah. Wow, somewhere wow, in wow. the mountains, somewhere. Yeah. You know. It's but, serious but business. You, you were very confident of winning. Yeah. So confident that you actually predicted that you would knock him out, which is rare. You don't normally do that. I mean, um, when, when the victory is there, you know it's there. Like I keep saying, it's not by my own strength, you know. Mm -hmm. This fight was pred was already predicted that it was going to be a it was a, a, a knockout victory. You know, I come from a prophetic house, you Interesting. know. Interesting. Tell us more. Um, my, my uncle, the one who inherited my grandfather, Prophet Wovenu, you know, the one who inherited him, his name is Prophet Wogbleho. You know, so prior to the fight, I was in the village at Anyako Buddha, at the Ten Commandment Temple. Interesting. You know, just praying and everything, fasting. Um, I've been there for, I was there for like three weeks before we officially went for training camp in London. When I came back to, went back there, just praying and everything. So he said to me that, look, this fight is going to be a knockout victory. So there's no way of you to be, wow. you know, so. Going into the fight, you had no doubts, you know, wow. there's, there's nothing, you know, you just had to just keep on focus and make sure you follow the, um, the principles that you have been given, you know, because if God says he's going to do something for you, you have to follow certain principles, you know, because that's why the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments are there for you to follow. And you know, if you're able to follow it, then everything that you ask for, and everything that's supposed to be, it will be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's difficult. It's very difficult. Jesse Magdaleno obviously had his stuff to say. Y you know, it it's part of the game. We heard about the, you know, some statements that your dad made and eventually apologized for. We know all of that happened. But when that whole mini brouhaha came about and there was some backlash and some people making comments saying, you know, how disappointed they were, as a fighter preparing for this major bout in your career, what was going through your mind and how did you deal with the, the aftermath of I all mean, of that? I was, I was at peace, mm -hmm. you know, because I, know, um, I knew that all of that didn't start from my camp. Okay. It started from Jesse's camp, mm -hmm. you know, so he started it, you know, on social media. Mm -hmm. When we fired back, we went, we, we, we went hard. Yeah. Too you know? <laughs> hard. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you shook them up. You, I mean, you did. We went hard and, I mean, it kind of like, you know, touched everybody. But mm. we knew that it was something that was going to generate interest. Mm. You know, it was going ah. to bring something out of it. It was going to bring people out. It was going to, you know, get everybody talking. Was mm -hmm. it the calculated? It was even, yeah. Oh, it was, it was a calculated thing. It mm -hmm. was. Of course. But it's part bar. of the game. You don't, you don't do things without thinking about it. You know, you do things that you know that, mm, It's going to shake I, them up. When this happens, when I, when I do this in this way, yeah. and my father is an, you know, he's an artist <laughs> by profession. So yeah. he knows, he, he knows his stuff, you know. That's why he's been able to nurture me, you know, um, up, up until this way, yeah. uh, up until where I am today. And, um, you know, he got a lot of people, um, he got a lot of people talking. Yeah. Bob Arum, Bob no, Arum yeah. he normally doesn't yeah. get involved in <laughs> these all. things, but he actually got involved this he time, did. you know. Don King doesn't get involved <laughs> in these things, but for some reason, this kind of like sparked something between the two of them. And yeah. they actually had to sit at the table and trash it out between them, um, between themselves. So it kind of got the interest of the whole boxing, boxing world, you know, um, worldwide of, you know, um, people Tell us about and, this. and stuff. Like, yeah. It was crazy. Okay, so there's the way in. Yep. The view and Jesse. I like how after you, after yours, you, you reached for yeah, I your, your to, head. Um, tell us that about that, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the, the Junu I wear is a traditional wear. Mm -hmm. It represents the culture, you know, and also represents the, the royalty. Yeah. And um, always, what, you what, know. What was he saying there? He was you, just... 
talking so much rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and we were just looking at him. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to knock you out. I was kind of like, <laughs> I was actually zoned out. I was looking straight in his eye and, you know, and he was yeah. telling me that, yeah, good, look straight in my eye. I'm going to whip your ass, you That's know, right. look straight in my eye. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just and you standing just there looking, you looking at your thinking yourself. You are just looking at him like, and, you know. And they had to and throw in, yeah, okay, let's listen. voice already. You know, well, well you're scared. the one crackling up. He yeah. can, he I'm can, real scared. But I guess now he's found, he's finally found his balls, you know, to step up to the plate, you know, accepting this fight. I can't beat him any uglier than he already is, you know. He's already dog ugly, so, uh, you know, just come Saturday, we're, 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 we're going to give him his name that he deserves. Oh, he's going to be the dang. ugly dog, bro. Oh, if man. you're a man, you've got to look ugly. It shows that you're a caveman. I'm not a pretty boy, you understand? So I'm a, I'm a cut from a different cloth. Yeah, all that trash talk on, on, on social media, I hope he puts it up on Saturday night. He's going to get the ass whooping that he deserves. Through it here with the champ, Timothy Brown. I love that. He's, he's sitting here on our couch. <laughs> Very calm. <laughs> so, yeah, we love in, that. In days but, gone by, both of you could have jumped on each other right there and started you, it off. Do you know what happened, yeah? I think after the, was it the way, you know, press conference? Mm. I think one of them. Um, we came and then it's like in a hotel. We all happened to be in one hotel. Um, so... They were standing in front of the lift, waiting for the lift to come down. So we just came in. And then, so when the lift came in and opened, I was, they were standing on the far end. So mm -hmm. where I was standing, that's where the lift opened from. So I was going, I was just going to ignore yeah. them, just walk, walk through. And my father said to me, Isaac, leave them, they were here before us. So I stepped back. And my dad said, champ, you take the lead, you go first, you guys were here first. And his, his coach got angry. Oh. He was like, he, he, he entered and he came back. <laughs> like, what? You do something. Like create some yeah. hype. And yeah, like, it was actually like showing his voice. Like, what, are you the one going to fight? Are you two going to fight? Huh? Are you two going to fight? Wow. My dad was just like, calm. It's like, whoa, I just said, you <laughs> take the lead. You were Interesting, here first. Interesting, man. You know, and yeah, so we knew that there was, there was some fear in, them, in the right. whole team. Okay. You know. From, from he himself, from his camp, even his coach, they had doubts, mm -hmm. you know, so when, so when you can actually sense it when someone is agitated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all man games, you know, when, uh, when you're fighting, it's, it's, it's game, games, so you have to be able to you keep knock you down. You know, at that moment, yeah, what happened was I went down, I wasn't hurt or anything. But I was surprised that I actually went down. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh oh, oh surprise Charlie. yourself. Like, you got up. What, what is this? What's going on I was, here? I was surprised um, when I when when I initially went down, and then because what happened was, it's like my leg kind of like got trapped in, into inside of his legs. Okay. Because um, southpaw and orthodox, oh, my okay. front lead. Yeah. Supposed to be on his outside on his outside his leg. Left. Yeah, and then my my leg he threw a punch. You know, he hit me, and like I kind of went off balance, so my lead leg came inside of his leg. So after he threw the combination, instead of me regaining my balance, I lost my balance, and, and then fell. I fell over. You know, but I got back up straight away. I wasn't hurt. I wasn't. My legs mm -hmm. were not doing a chicken dance or anything. <laughs> so I just got back up, and yeah. yeah. But at that moment, what came from my mind was, damn, this is a ten-eight round. Mm. Yeah. You know, so and I was thinking to myself. <sighs> but I just wanted to, go, you know, get back in straight away, try to see if I can also put him down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and then my dad was like, you know what? Look, Isaac, keep moving. Mm -hmm. Move to the left. Don't, don't stand there with him. Don't trade mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. You know. But then I'll move a little bit, and then I'll just get back to the same place. I just want to, we I saw, wanna, you we know. Heard. I, 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 I think this is the last round. Yes, this was where you, you, you ended it, basically. That is <laughs> animated. He was literally... Like, it was going on, you're saying, <laughs> one, two, Focus one, two. Yeah. You you're saying down. one, two, you know, mm -hmm. because the thing is, every time I hit him to the body, he was feeling it. You know, so that's, my dad kept on telling me I should just relax. Okay. You know, and just keep working the body. Eventually, he was just breaking down. You could see his legs were going. Oh, as soon, as soon could as you as hear I, your dad? You could yeah, hear him. yeah. When I'm in the ring, he's the only person I hear. Wow. Oh, although there are a lot of voices, there's yeah. noise going around. He's the only voice I hear, like, it's just a distinct voice. Okay. Where, so, for some reason, 
He just said one two Isaac one two and then the one two just came from nowhere. Boom boom. And then boom boom and I see this guy on the floor and that was it. That it was it was beautiful. Does he ever shout to you? Yes, he does. Mm. I yeah. thought one my uncle was actually telling him that ah poor. Cause this this is after the fight when he was telling me this. He was, he was, like, he was like, oh, um, poor. Um, but if you are shouting like this, Jesse too is also hearing. <laughs> <laughs> His mind isn't there. <laughs> speak so up, you speak up. <laughs> <laughs> so but, guy here. <laughs> what I mean, the, all, all, all I'm hearing is just English, you know. Unless, <laughs> or, or, or sometimes I could hear him saying, "Oh, my de kukushi no." Like something like that. Oh, I'm begging you. Like do this. I'm begging you. Oh. Do this. You know. Yeah. So. So I'll come, I'll come to the corner and you'll be like, calm down, calm down, don't load mm -hmm. up, don't do this, don't do this, just do this, please, please, don't, you know, so, yeah, so, I mean, it's just, when a fight's going on, there's no pressure in mm. everything, you just, my corner has always remained calm, Yeah. you know, but at times, I, the other people's corner is always some sort of like, you know, mm. you know the old tension and all yeah. that. Right. Okay, there's some the, debate yeah. though about whether you've been to present the um, the, the belt ah. on social media. There's a belief that you've already been to present the belt to His Excellency the President. You haven't, have you? No, no, that was uh, that was uh, last time. That was yeah, old, yeah, the, yeah. an old yeah. picture. Yeah. I yeah. remember that yeah. one. Yeah. I think the reason was because um, they posted. I think he 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 posted his his office. He congratulated, congratulated you. Yeah, yeah. To congratulate me and yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Okay, so, so Senor from La Chibi says, Good evening, madam. Yeah. Uh, please ask Isaac for me, how difficult is it when the opponent he's fighting seems taller than him? Mm. Is, it, is, it, is there something to consider there if you have a taller opponent? Mm. Um, well, if you have a taller opponent, it means that they have an advantage. But, mm -hmm. I mean, with us, I've been fighting people who are always taller than me. I'm always <laughs> a little guy. You know, to, to the extent that sometimes... I'm here and weighing time, I've got to be like, I don't know, you know, just, you know, see these, you know, skinny guys and they're just looking down at you, mostly skinny, but yeah. really ripped. They're looking down, looking, I'm looking up at them, they're looking down, you know, just thinking to myself, they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know the power in this package. Okay. How did you feel when you went on the canvas for the first time fighting for a world title? This is Musa. Asking this question, I think we uh, spoke about it. You yeah, were like, yeah. What's going um, on here? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was kind of like surprising, like I said earlier, you know. Yeah. But I mean, the only thing is that I was, I was a little bit, you know, I'm, I am disappointed in in like the Ghana, Ghana, the the Ghana media people. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys. Tell us about that, yeah. You, you, please, you guys, please talk yes. to us. Yes. You guys, you guys. What, what have we really, done? Isaac? Really, really, really um, disappointed us. You know, for not showing the fight because yeah. I mean it was really disappointing. Rising South Africa promotions had the rights. You know, we are looking forward to giving it to the. Just a bit. It's beyond us. Sometimes the players at the top make it so difficult that so even if you want it, yeah. you had the rights. It was yeah. then. Yeah. We were, you know, ready, ready to. to, distribute it to right. Do you think right. it was a cost issue? I think the only thing you guys had to pay was. The, the satellite view. The satellite view, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. That was the only thing mm. you guys are, that was all, all we can because say, as Yao done, said, yeah. is that ESPN. some decisions are, are above our pay yeah. grade. And, so, and bosses. We have a, a partnership <laughs> with ESPN. And yes, yes, exactly. in fact. If so, ESPN is on the quest so we were actually thinking that it would be, that it would be shown. We, 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 we didn't even know. We thought <laughs> we would be showing it because we have ESPN on the Quest TV. Somebody decoder. wanted so to come in. And, it was, and it was actually a surprise you. to us as well. And, yeah. and we were really looking forward to seeing you and supporting you. And so... I mean, uh, I think that when the, when the numbers came in, you know, it was about around almost close to a million mm. wow. people that tuned in. Wow, wow, yeah, wow, wow. For pay per view. Amazing. And in Africa, it would have been huge as well. And huge it's a, as well. lessons learned. I think, um, obviously, there's a... There's uh, so we're going to ask you about whether or not you're getting more love now that exactly. people have seen just how great you are. All right. Um, Isaac Rugby is such a gentle guy, and he doesn't even look like a boxer. Mm -hmm. Ghana is indeed a blessed country. Keep the fire burning. That's ZK from Choco. Santana sending that message in. I don't look like in. a boxer, but I don't look like a model either. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, hi, good evening. My name is Andy from Tabora Alaji. Congrats to Isaac. I want to know if Isaac can speak Chi. Okay. He'll answer that. Okay. He, he's, he's, 
<laughs> Tabora man. Uh, yeah. Hello, Kofi from Cape Coast. Tell Isaac he's got a strong fan base here in Cape Coast. And tell Isaac that I say he will get further than he anticipates. God is with him. Yep, All right? he said that. Yep, brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Jordan says, ask Isaac what is his key motivation before any fight? Mm -hmm. Before any fight, all everything throughout training camp. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's done Magdalena right there. You saw Magdalena step back. He step in and grab him. Dog Bay actually started off moving, trying to find different angles to attack. Magdalena. So impressed with Magdalena in the last round, the way he was boxing, the way he had collected himself. God, all things are possible. Yeah. You know, nice. regardless of wherever I'm going, I know that with God, all things are possible. Yes. Regardless of the the road or anything that's standing in my way, I know I'm gonna. I'm, I'm no. I know I'm gonna walk through that place. Yeah. So, you so know? being the underdog suited you perfectly. Yeah. Definitely, it's like a you know Cinderella story. You know, <laughs> it, it, it makes sense. You know. It does. But oh, now you're a champion. Our friend Raf so. watching from Belgium says, wow, congratulations to my Ghanaian brother, Isaac. Very excited to see you on set yes. and uh, to wish you congratulations on your feet, your amazing mm. feet. Um, hi, Kokui. Please tell Dogbe that I said he should leave Game Boy Tego for... Uh, wait, you should leave Game Boy Tego for I want to whoop his ass real bad. <laughs> that was okay. talk about, yeah. <laughs> um, Isaac brought some cash I wish to dip my fingers into. <laughs> Laugh out loud, congrats. That's a sexy Gwyneth. Was that oh, woman? that's uh -huh. a lady. She okay. Oh. So wait, wait, let's go there. Let's go there, Isaac. Interesting. You remember, I said it. If you don't love me now, don't love me, don't love me later. Mm -hmm. Are you now getting inundated? More love with female attention. You know, I'll be very honest with you. That has been coming ever since like, <laughs> like time ago. But wow. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kind of like reserved. Mm -hmm. Like, uh -huh. please, so I'm not involved. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I kind of like, yeah. Just, Back off. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I just. No girlfriend. For now, yeah. I just like. No girlfriend. So, no love interest. I'm just innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm innocent. Yeah. She, she asked the question. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it there. No. But, but what has changed though? In you're now a champion. You're a world champion, yeah. um, Isaac. So I'm you're so Isaac Dugley. You, you know? are, but you're no longer the underdog. <clears throat> you're the champion. So. What, how is that going to change you in the ring before the fights? Start slacking. You know, if, if you're a champion, a lot of people expect you to start changing a lot of things. Mm. You know, the, the thing that keeps coming back is um, people going on about, oh, now that he's a champion, a lot of vultures are going to start coming to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. People are going to start offering him a lot of money mm. and he's going to end up leaving his father, bringing a new team and this and that and that. But look... When you are, when a person has to have morals, you know, my father is the one that discovered me. Mm -hmm. and he discovered my talent. He, he, he actually nurtured me into, you know, and I never had no talent in boxing. I should mm -hmm. put it that way. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the one that actually brought me from nothing to where I am today. Mm -hmm. You know, and I always say that it's God that gave him that vision. And he's the one, you know, it's God that has given him that strength and that mentality to actually... <laughs> be the force driving me and, mm. you know, always being there for me. <clears throat> and at long last, we are world champions. I'm, I'm not, I, it's, I, I am not a world champion. We. We are we world are champions. World I like that. You've know. been on this journey for it's a long a, time. It's a team mm. effort. It's I remember, a long I remember um, on our way back on the plane and my father was sitting behind me. My uncle was at the side of me and, um, you know, I had my laptop in front of me and I was watching a fight. And after a while, small time, I'll just fall asleep and mm -hmm. I wake up again. Then I'll go back and then I'll watch it again. Um, I'll continue from where I was watching it from. And then I was there and it just felt like 
I just had some eureka moment from that long time where we've been on the road. Mm -hmm. You know, the sacrifice, mm -hmm. you know, the, the letdowns and everything that we've had to go through. And at long last, and I was just there, uh, just felt like I said I was watching a, I was, I was watching a movie. Mm -hmm. Everything just playing back to me, and for some reason, I was just there, and tears just like wow. flew from my eyes. And I was just thinking to myself, like, damn. That you've been through so you much. Know, and, um, you know, time, but every stage of my life, or every stage of my career, is like, whenever there's a storm, they were always around, you know. Mm -hmm. And even the people that we thought that they had our best interests at heart, mm. those mm. people rather turn, turn, okay. turn their backs, wow. you know, and I was just thinking to myself, like, wow, you know, all the times that my father had to, you know, sometimes, I don't know if it's appropriate for me to say this, but say it, at times, at, time, at times, I'll see my father, like, crying, you know, and um, I'll just be like, pretend like I said I didn't see anything, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and I just, I, I'll see that, you know, there are things going on, I just feel like, damn. It's all because of I'm doing this boxing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But sometimes things go through my but then you, you look onto the bride and you just think to yourself that, damn, with God, all things are possible. Yeah. It's been a tough you know? and rough journey. And he's believed gonna, in you. Yeah. This is a father believing it's in the It's going to get better. You yeah. know, it's, it can only get better. And look. You know, so, yeah, yeah I mean, okay. in all things, we always give glory to God and um, just keep working. And Absolutely. we know that one day we will see the light, you know, on the other side and... Right now, I believe that 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 um, that, uh, that 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 part of the journey to us started. Mm -hmm. Great inspirational story. Any more messages? Yeah, Lavette CGH says, "I just like the way Isaac Dogbe speaks." Yeah. Big ups to you, champ. Um, Nida Vido says, "I just like his calmness." Mm. I was also disappointed that it wasn't on any of our local TV stations. Uh, Dogbe, just keep doing your best. Yeah, we we agree. We're all disappointed at that. Um, okay, we're gonna take a quick break, but. We, I just want you to put something in mind. You're talking about, you know, your journey and mm -hmm. people along the way. We were here with uh, Coach Ofori recently. Mm -hmm. um, talked a lot about your journey and, and you going to the Olympics and him being, you know, your, the, 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 the team. Uh, Kojo Jr. says, see, I felt Royal Storm in punches behind my screen that day. Short man. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fun. Okay. <laughs> angel. Uh, yeah, short I'm man an angel. angel. <laughs> okay. Um, Maurice Green says, my brother, you be the man. You nailed that talkative. Quest a home run, all right. Obviously, fans never yeah. cease for this young man. There was something but yeah, that happened. Before the break, okay, yeah. before the break, we're talking about the influences That's right. in your life and, and Coach Afori Asari, yeah. Ambassador Ray Kwaku. Tell us about the roles the that influence. they played as yeah. well in your story. Well, you know, um, talking about um, Ambassador Ray Kwaku, you know, after when, I, when, when my, my father first got me into boxing, I mean, upon his discovery about how strong I was and everything, you know, and he started training me and, and, and all. My father first approached Amasad uh, Ray, um, and he said to him that, oh, he's got a son, but um, he's got a son, and he would like him to join a black bombers and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, could do a justification for the fight, you know, for the Olympics. And Amasad Ray said to him that he's too young when it comes to Ghana, the uh, the boxers will kill him, <laughs> you know. So I think I think that's what he said. Yeah. So um, my father just you know came back. He came home and he he told me what had you know happened. And I think the um, the following year or something, the team went for a tournament. I think it was a world championships in Boku, Azerbaijan. Mm. And I think they beat all they beat all of them. <laughs> so then he came back. And he was like, this time he, you know, he, he contacted my father and, you know, said, oh, okay. He would like, he would like me to join the Black Bombers. I was in school. I was mm. in college. My father phoned me and said, oh, um, I almost said a real quick, I called him. And um, the Ghana, they want you to fly out on Monday. I spoke, I spoke with, the, with, my tutor, with my tutor and I said to him, <laughs> you know, um, fight. I'm gonna have to <laughs> drop my course because I'll be going to Ghana to do a justify your inclusion for, you know, for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And you know, because of how he's he's a friendly guy, I'm all I'm so friendly with all my teachers and right. everything. So just like, hey, Isaac Dogbe is going to be in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is that you know? So 
he goes and everyone so there was a uh, there was one there was one girl sitting in front and then she she turned to she turned to look at and said so what if you don't qualify yeah. mm -hmm. and i said of course, I will qualify. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was the only thing I said. So mm -hmm. you know, just to cut a long story short. Mm -hmm. So my father, you know, um, allowed me to come. I came alone, and when I came, it was uh, it was really tough, you know, to be accepted in the team. You know, all the promises that you know they said they were going to do for us. You know, the the um, the boss at the time, the Ghana Match Boxing um, Association. Um, you know, he said there'll be a chef, there'll be oh, um, a strength and conditioning trainer, there'll be a trainer, there'll be a car for really? us, you know. So, mm. it was myself, my cousin, that's um, Joshua Boache. Uh, ah, oh, yeah, mm. he also um, had a good fight, yeah, yeah. and um, Lerone Richards. And these were okay. we were the three that were officially selected, and one other guy. Was also added with us, so that was okay. a Michael Bediako. Right. So um, we came down, and okay, first week went, <laughs> no chef. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first few days and everything. Can you recommend? Oh, that's my dad. That's yeah. your dad. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Home Run. Uh, okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Because you're a champion. I <laughs> congrats, mean, congrats. Isaac says Paul. it's not him, it's us, the team. So, yeah. um, well done. You guys, you're doing a hell of a job. Well, yeah. you could have done <laughs> better. Always uh, hosting us and then um, making the world know who Isaac is. Yeah, we could have done better. And uh, even before we go on, obviously, to apologize on behalf of the media, I mean, Isaac has told us that he was a bit disappointed that we couldn't, you know, Ghanaians couldn't watch it live. Mm. But I'm sure now... All those involved, the media, the states, you know, everybody would make sure his next fight, the defense. Well, yeah. Well, as you know, you see how the whole country wanted to see that fight. Yeah. Yes. That would have been a great business opportunity for you guys too, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only Quested TV, like you said, oh, watch watch Isaac Dogway on Quested TV. Yeah. It's going to happen. And all Ghanaians to tune in to Quested TV, you see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <I know>. It's <laughs> going to happen. <laughs> It's yes, gonna happen. Especially since we we did I it know, before, know, remember? Know. When you were when you fought at the Bukum Arena, Absolutely. we were there, we, we had such a great time, yeah. you know, exactly. covering the whole thing. So yeah, we, we in the future definitely we'd love to be your partners again and we're so we're so so happy for you and, and, and excited about the prospects for the future. And speaking of the future, mm -hmm. you know, let's let's make reference to um, I guess Isaac's speech after you know his victory interview. That's right. And he did mention that there, there could be the prospect of him having maybe new a new team, not necessarily saying that you won't be there, but maybe in a different capacity. What what's what's Beef the deal? Enough. That means okay. that now that we, we are the world title, um, now that we have the world title, Isaac is signed to top rank for one year. Okay. You know, which um, after that one year then we are free to do whatever. But then still last week but Baron, top rank, said to Michael Tamora that he wants to sign Isaac long term. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so long term means long promotional term. So that is bigger and better, you know. Even okay. though many people were saying that, oh, we shouldn't, but then, I mean, it's, the stress is just too much, you know. Mm -hmm. We can't be like going around, I can't be borrowing money left, right, and center. So uh. they should just take the and then, you know, and just be paying us and then. Things will be cool, you know. You've, you you've, you've done well. Yeah. But then I I happened to tell Top Rank that I'm going to resign as a coach. And then they said, never, ever. Ah, right. okay. They said, never, ever. It was Top Rank that had convinced me and said to me. Really? To stay on. They know me. They know me. They said to me, listen, my style works for my son. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, um, since they, they, because they've been following Isaac since from the Olympics. Okay. Right. All right. You know, so they said to me, you know, whatever I said to them like five, six years ago came to pass. Okay. Yeah. You know, and okay. they were even calling me a prophet. They said prophet of God before. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so so they Prophet they Paul. Me, they like the yeah. they like the way I trained my son and his conditioning was super. 
right. that that was definitely yeah. evident. Yeah. We could definitely tell that he was in an amazing yeah. shape. And before you yeah. go, exactly. what can right. we learn briefly about the method you've used? There's a template. There's a book. But then, you see, maybe I'm different. Remember, I'm a physical instructor. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not. Um, you see, so while some coaches who come in one only training the boxer, just the, phys the, the technical aspect, I do the technical aspect, and I do the, the strength and conditioning aspect, and I do the, 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 the dieting aspect too, you see? Okay. see so, so I come in 3-1, and then I do the, the endurance aspect too. As you well. Know? <laughs> oh yeah, we've seen, we've seen wow. some of the regimens mm -hmm. that you put him through, and to be honest, it's impressive. I Very. mean, more respect to Isaac. For he, he's a strong chap. I mean, people should not be fooled by his side. He is strong. And but Paul, smile. We'll, we'll, we'll get you back in the studio, hopefully sometime soon, so we can talk more. And then we can have a discussion about you know training and yep. conditioning athletes and, and, and all of that stuff. But thank you so much. I think, I think next yeah. time you guys have to pay some money, then I'll teach you. Ah, <laughs> you see you. Now, now, now you're right. a big time, you know, yeah. top rank, top it's, rank uh, it's boxing coach. So... Thank All right, you very thank you much, so much, wherever Paul. you are, Paul. Thank, yeah. you, thank you. Always great Paul talking Rick, to you. Manager, coach, yeah. father of uh, <laughs> Royal Storm. Yeah, it's great to have him um, speaking to him. I can't it's, believe Our time why. is up. Ah. Uh, my grandfather, Tug BS3, is organizing a grand deba in my, in my honor. You know, um, uh, you know it, the victory that we had wow. you know, over the weekend um, last week. So, um, I mean, it's just a thanksgiving to, to glorify, you know, the Lord mm -hmm. for the victory that he gave us, you know. And um, everyone is invited, you know. Brilliant. 19th of May. 19th of May at Anyakokota, Anya. mm -hmm. the Volta region, right. you know, because, um, I mean, in royalty, you, you, you know, from a royal house, we always have to do things grand. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's a grand endeavor. Yeah. And, um, I mean, many kings, they're going to be just drumming war songs That's and right. war drums. we beating. Yep. Everyone has to, be, has to be there. Attire is, is, uh, is, is white. White. Know. Okay. Yeah, you can That's wear white. Anyako put that on the 19th of so May. everyone is invited. I can't, I can't wait to, to see everybody there. We'll be there oh, representing. You know. But please, there isn't going to be no alcohol because it's a, it's a victory um, thanksgiving <laughs> to God. Um, right. <laughs> Very nice. You have to be safe. You have to be sober. Definitely. You have to mm. be okay. safe. Non, All right. Non-alcoholic. Well, Isaac, are you a football fan? Uh, I'm a, mm, a little bit. A little bit. Uh. <laughs> I support Man United, though. Okay. Ah, the Red Devils. They're in the FA Cup Isaac. final. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They are, which I think is on the on May the 19th. 19th. Yeah, but that yes. was the Yes, against day. Chelsea. Okay, but no. uh, speaking of football, let's see fixtures and results from the EPL. All right, so after, here we go, match days Swansea. 31 and 35. Okay, uh, we've got Swansea City not doing too well. Southampton pretty much looking like this. There's really nothing to play for in some of these matches. I mean, Tottenham, Newcastle. Tottenham, though, are hanging on, clinging on for dear life to that top four spot because Chelsea are hot on their heels. Uh, and speaking of Chelsea, they'll be facing off against Huddersfield, hoping to win that match so that they can get even closer to securing top four. And then we've got West Ham versus Isaac Dogbe's Man United yep. on the 10th of May. Yeah, and so I think David news. Moyes has been able to keep West yeah, Ham safe. Yeah. Uh, Mark Hughes has been able to work some wonders with Southampton tonight, yep. but his it old like Stoke Swansea, side is gone. So. It looks like it's bad news for um, yeah. the IU brothers. Okay. Tomorrow's May 9th, yes, and that means yes, yes. we're going to bring you something quite different on that anniversary yeah. of May 9th. Um, it's a serious anniversary, so isn't do it? do join us again. The weather looks yeah. good tomorrow. It does. Okay. Thank Isaac, you again thank to Thank you very much once again, and we hope to have you back in the studio My very, pleasure. very soon. Definitely. Yeah. And we can't wait to see the belts. Yeah. The belts, the super belts. Um, yeah, we're behind. Yep.